Hello, YouTubers. Uh, this is Cleveland with the 8th Wonder of the World. Uh, pretty much, um, I just discovered something in, uh, um, probably about a month ago, and I'm starting to conceptualize it now, put it more into concrete. So pretty much, this episode is the secret formula I found to wealth is, is inside the International Monetary Fund. It's called special drawing rights. So before I get into that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my portfolio. Just a little rundown on my, uh, before I get into the topic, pretty much today is Monday. Um, as you can see, I'm up 5.79%, um, which is $330. So that's good. Um, currently I have 79 assets under management plus two cryptos so that's 79 so i'm not counting the cryptos because there's more they're more speculative so um so i'm not really putting those two in so i have 79 under stocks um as you can see it, it ranges from a thousand although and these are the 79 that i own once i hit 100 i'll go through these all but i'm gonna just briefly go all the way down to a dollar because I pretty much the dividends I get, any money I get, I buy companies, different companies in different sectors um, until I pretty much get all the sectors covered. Then I'll start doubling up on companies that I feel um, strongly about. I'll pick 10 of them. Ten of, I'll probably pick one company out of each sector that I feel is strong. So there's 50 of them. So I pretty much start doubling it up like that as a strategy. Um, pretty much. Um, my, my strategy for 2019, um, is 60% stocks, 30% index funds, 5% five five bonds, ETFs, and then 5% REITs. Pretty much, um, what the, the, the idea, the formula that I'm pretty much, I'm following, I'm following it from the International Monetary Fund. So I'm going to go into that. Okay, here is the uh, International Monetary Fund. And basically, the way um, my strategy is with me investing and pretty much passing this on generationally is I'm following. Okay, you see how um, we're pretty much. I don't know if you know, you guys know what. Uh, let me go back up here to the what a SDR is. And it's pretty much. Uh, reserve currency that the these five country uses the US dollar the euro the chinese yuan the japanese yen and then the uh, pound sterling pretty much these five currency they're the pretty much the five powers of the world that's how i see it so each if you're buying stock in each of these company you're good because they have a system where if any of these systems goes down they have a um a system you guys can um I got it on another video where I was talking about, you know, explaining SDRs. If you want to, there it is, explaining it. I'm not going to go through it again. Um, but pretty much what it's saying is um, if a company, like, for example, like how uh, the 2008, how we were bailed out was because of the uh, because of uh, the SDRs, the, the IMF loan, um, the U.S., Reserve, reserves to cover the cover the losses so that's how we were able to come out of that and people didn't feel it so um just something i'll get into more depth in that but i'm pretty much covering uh the formula uh to wealth and this is what i'm following like how i was telling you my strategy basically okay you, you see the euro the u.s dollar and the euro the percentage so pretty much, um, I went over my strategy. I got, I, I invest sixty percent stocks, thirty percent index funds, five percent bonds, ETFs, and then five percent REITs. Basically, the sixty percent stocks covers the U.S. dollar and the euro. So I split those in half. The sixty percent, the stocks. So thirty percent will go will become like my U.S. dollar, which are, which are more companies that are fast growth valuation with no dividends, and then the euro. Um, that's the other 30% of that 60, 60% total. 
um, pretty much I'll invest that in the slow growth valuation with dividends. And those will cover like pretty much um, uh, stocks international also grouped in to that 60. So that'll cover the U.S. dollar and the euro portion. And then the Chinese won, how you see it's it's at 10.92%. Uh, uh, pretty much I will invest 30% into index funds, which will be pretty much my Chinese won. And then my Japanese yen, you see the Japanese yen is 8.33. Pretty much my my 5% bonds ETF will cover that, will be the Japanese yen. And then the pound sterling, how they're at 8.09%. Um, pretty much um, I'll be at 5%. Uh, that'll be my REITs at 5%. So pretty much I'm just using these five and pretty much following their formula and using a ratio from the from the SDR special drawing rights and pretty much coming up with my formula on investing and trying to pre pretty much mimic the IMF so um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and if um, you pretty much don't understand uh, leave a leave a comment uh, pretty much and this is something new but this is interesting the IMF if you guys if you guys have time look at it you know look at this page interesting um the way they pretty much how they if if any of these currencies in any of these countries go down they have a system where they can borrow they have they have um allocations and holdings with sdrs in other countries if they're like if they have more than you know other countries can borrow from other countries whether it's sdrs or whether it's their reserve whether it's their currency so, I mean, the system is like, why? it just blew my mind, just kind of, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but as of now, since I'm still um, trying to understand it, um, that's pretty much why my strategy for 2019 is that, the 60% uh, stock, so pretty much that covers the US dollar and euro, I'll spit that 30-30, and then the Chinese yuan will be my index funds, that'll be 30, so as you can see, US dollar for me is 30%, but that'll be stocks. Uh, the euro, 30%, that'll be other uh, stocks, other type of stocks. And then the Chinese yuan, that'll be 30% uh, index funds. And then the Japanese yen, that'll be 5% bonds, ETFs. And then the uh, how they got the pound sterling, I pretty much replaced it with REITs, which is 5%. So that's my 100 for 2019 and as you can see as of now following that strategy i don't know how everybody else is looking but i'm at 5.79 percent so i just want to drop that i'll catch you tomorrow until next time let compound interest make you